from Shawncliffe will now take on St Edmunds. Yeah, next game here on field number one, Confraternity 2023. Look at you. Big Lukey joins me again, mate. Uh, welcome back to the uh, the commentary box again. Great to see you. Kia ora, Talafa Lava, Nisambula, Malolele. Yeah, good afternoon, JD, and good afternoon to all the viewers on the live stream. Really looking forward to this game, uh, St. Patrick's College, Shawncliffe versus St. Edmunds College at Ipswich. Yeah, these games starting a little bit later because of an injury in the... Uh, in the, the Shield final for the women, so 47, 12, uh, 147, 247, and 347, the remaining games here on field number field number one, or all fields for that matter. And we see St. Edmunds will kick off from the, the southern end, St. Pat's. How have they been going, uh, mate, after the last time I saw them was on... <laughs> Was here against Ayana, but they've improved since there, and as, is, as you'd expect. Yeah, and that's the thing. I, it's hard coming into this tournament, JD. You know, it's their first game of the season, so they've got to build into it. Uh -oh. They have been improving, but unfortunately, that's not a good start for the boys in green and gold. You could do that kick 55 more times and it'd pop up. Yep. But, but not, not that one. I had to go end over end, and unfortunately, beat everyone. A little and bit of Nathan Lyon spin on it. And it's unfortunate. It's an unfortunate start here for uh, St. Patrick's. And it looks like it's going to be prime attacking position for St. Edmunds. And then we know how they've been going, St. Edmunds? Yeah, they've actually had some... They've been... They've fronted up similar like... Uh, similar situation like St. Pat's. They had a tough loss to Ignatius Park, 18-16. Wow. So, you know, these guys are, these guys are starting to... <laughs> You know, get their combinations right. So I'll be interested to see how these boys go. Boxwell. <coughs> he gets within 10 on the try line. Good tackle around the ankles there by Lease. Puller. Allwood. Chance here for the centre three quarter and poking here. That's Hawking Horn has taken into the touch. That was good defence there by uh, St. Patrick's College. If we have a look at here, the replay, they, they go far to the left edge. They, number seven takes it deep into the line, hits it inside centre, oh, sorry, the centre. He tries to he tries to stay in the field of play, but he gets taken into touch. Yeah, ran out of real estate. So, that error from the kickoff hasn't cost them any points. But a long way out from their own line. That's the 10-meter line, stands in the tackle. There's too many whistles out there, Lee. I don't know whether there's a penalty coming or not. It's with Dean Laws now, and Laws. Yeah. He was strong in the first game. He was strong in the first game, Dean Laws. Saw here. here we go. We've got some, we've got some uh, good meters now from St. Pat's. Leo Church there. Putting it through the hands. And probably only going sideways, probably about eight or nine meters in that set. Last tackle now, says the referee. They need a good kick here. Well, not going. They're well, going to they're run gonna. it. He's going to hang on to it. There'll be a ball and all tackle there by Cooper Reed. Still offload. No, still last. Still lost. Oh. Well, I'm in the air there. I don't know what happened. He's looking to the sideline and say, I didn't know it was the last. Oh, unfortunately, the, the captain there, Taj Lease, I, I don't think he realised it, it was the last tackle. He went down the short side. And now, now, Eddie's, are in, now Eddie's are with the ball, midfield. In prime attacking position. Yeah, Jamie Wilson. Carry. Oh, throw. Chance up the middle of the ruck here. Steps him on his way. He's Chandler. That's a great carry by Chandler. They really need quick ball here. Yeah, the markers weren't ready for him. Was he's with Wilson now? Wilson will get within 10 of the try line. Same Pat's on roller skates. They're now defending their own line. They've got to go left. Orwood. Brown, Brown, Brown gets the offload, loses a footy. Oh. Luckily for St. Pat's Edmonds, coughed up on the try line. Oh, geez, they, they were looking. Da they've been dangerous down this left hand side. If we have a look here, Allwood takes it to the line, plays out to the back to Brown. Brown tries to straighten up. He tries to get back inside, mate. There's there's plenty of time, and sorry, there's plenty of time in this game. It was probably the third tackle, their fourth tackle. They didn't need to throw that uh, that unforced error. And now, they've turned over the ball 10 metres out from their line. Well, the thing was with that one, you're right, it didn't have to be masked, but actually if you had got it off later, I think it was actually a touch forward anyway. Whether it would have been ruled if he caught it, we'll never know. 
When you're running a, a league tail play there, uh, JD, you, as soon as you get the ball, you need to straighten up. And unfortunately, uh, young young Brown didn't do that. It all goes back to the marker defence there for Chandler. Actually, marker that bust up the middle. Their markers weren't ready for it, and he was too much indecision here with this attack. Yeah. He's got to give it lease. Just give it an even if they flat footed. That's their job. Yeah, exactly. And now, Boland. He's also a strong ball carry. He got the offload there in the end. Not sure that was actually necessary because he's probably lost a metre or two and maybe a friend as well <laughs> for a little hospital pass. This is good. And the market defence is not great nice from either side. Here. Here. Last one. They need a good kick here. Can the following schools please return their power? So Noah James Polly puts it high. It's allowed to bounce. Marymount and College. It'll be enough for Conrad College. Brown to take that hit. 25 Campbell. out from their own line. Good kick chase there by St. Pat's. Catholic Blackwell made College. the tackle there. Yeah, yeah, it's taken five Mary's minutes for actually St. Pat's if to get, get inside. St. Evans part of the field. They're going to try and keep him down here, JD. Nash. That's a good wrestle. So St. Pat's is a good set of set defensively. There's running the wrestle there. There we go. Yeah, it was always going to be a tough ass down the sideline. That was a really good effort there for Preston. He did a great yeah. job to stay in the field and play. Right. I thought he was going for all money. Exactly. Orwood puts the kick back the other way here. This has to be tidied up here. He's taking all the time in his life. It's Henry Armstrong before he brings it back. He makes beats one, beats two. Henry Armstrong, good good return before he's cleaned up there by Liam Wilson. That was a, that was a really good uh, set coming out of their own half here. Uh, Allwood's doing a really good job just to controlling the play. We'd like to see St. Pat's get up on him. Oh, it's turned over. Boxer loses a f with the footy. Crash ball. Reaches out and scores a try. Liam Wilson and St. Edmunds score first. That is a sensational try from uh, uh, from St. Edmunds College. It's been a good build-up. You know, they've had now four sets inside the attacking half in the, in the attacking half. If we have a look here, Boland does a great job of carrying the footy, but then just get, gets turned over on that strip. Looks like it's number 12 there. Liam Wilson turns well, he that... He scores the try in the end. He turns that over, but I'll tell you what, this young player, Jack Handler, he's been really good in this opening stanza. He throws a nice little ball uh, yeah, to, to Wilson, and now St. Edmunds go up four, four points to nil with a kick to come. There's only one person who could miss his kick this easy in front. You're looking at him. He's been good so far in this first six minutes, young Allwood. I, I just like how he's directing his team around the park. There's plenty of ball movement. And now, you know, they've been rewarded. You know, he led the kick chase. He, he put a lot of pressure on Boland there. And that gave the up. And when you're running across the defensive line, you've got to be careful because your body height's upright. Just have a look at this replay here. I'm liking I'm liking this young man in Chandler. He jumps out. He tracks that A defender in Bowling, and it's just a nice little short pass to Wilson. Well, Bowling actually made that break early in the day, early in the game from dummy half, so they're going to have to keep an eye on him. St. Pat's now. It's early days. Only down 6 0. That's him now, Ch Chandler. He's a. Oh, they rolled him onto his head. Uh, That's just momentum, but still, you need to be careful where you hit the man. But exactly. Who's Boxwell? Have a look at the replay here. It's sort of, you know, bodies in motion here, and unfortunately, he's ended up on the back of his neck. And that's the thing there, like it just yeah. unforced errors there. Yeah, he look. didn't need to actually lift the legs above the horizontal. I think that's what. Yeah. Initially, it was okay, I think, but. Wilson Tomic, just a bit of ill discipline there. Now Boxwell's got another carry. Oh. Strip. So strip. Boxwell carries it. It's going to be penalised. It's, it's Taj Lease, was it? Yeah, Taj Lease. Back to back penalties now. And, mm. and it's St. Edmunds College, they're in prime attacking position. Well, look, how many times have we seen an error or a penalty against it results in a try pretty quickly? Let's see what happens here. Exactly, JD. And, and it's really important when you play Confraternity Shield, it's really important that you start fast. You start fast, put pressure on them, you get, you know, you, and if you can come away with points, it just sets the tone for the match. This box all get up, 20 metres out. Now with the back rower. 
Wilson, now 10. Chandler has to walk over James. Cut out ball, goes without it, but he's come off the back of it, and that's going to be a knock on. Oh, very unlucky oh, there. Uh, well, yeah, he has lost control of the footy. But, I yeah, unlucky not to score the try. Yes, you're right. But uh, I tell you what, St. Pat's have really got to improve their market defence. Chandler's got Chandler is just dictating all the play out of dummy half. Threw a nice little cut ball there to Preston. And, unfortunately, Pre sorry, it was Polkinghorn. Uh, sorry, Preston, sorry, cut out pass. Preston wasn't able to hold on. And now St. Pat's have a scrum 10 metres out from their own line. Well, we seem to be looking at the left-hand side of the screen for the majority of this game so far. Ten minutes old that it is. Most of the uh, damage has been done against Oh, they needed themselves. that for St. Patrick's College. They what? They really needed Can that. Can I buy a vowel, sir? Can I buy a vowel? Exactly. They need to just reset here now. Slow it down. Make sure they put it out. Well, it's out. Well, it's cleaned up on the referees underneath us. So let's see what they can do with this set of six. Get good field position. It's nice to score a try, but not essential. That's a good way to start the set with Church. Another good carry. Laws. That's, he's, he, I like this Dean Laws. He's full of energy. He's got more. Sh he drinks red cordial without water, that boy. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Williams and Tomic. Another penalty, so look, a quick play, the ball gets indecision. Chandler with a sh high shot. Yeah, they've got to pick up the tempo here, St. Patrick's College inside uh, the opposition 22. They've got to play with a bit of speed now. Eddie, St. Edmunds College have had all the momentum. Guess who? Here we go. This is a good starter from Wilson Tomich. Wrap around, no. Plays it the other way. They've got an overlap Razzle here. dazzle footy. You think they're behind by 30. Gets the offload. Doesn't go to anyone. Picks it on the half body. Throws a bouncer ball. This is AFL. All of a sudden, six, six to go. It says a referee, and it's going to be the hands of Dean Laws. They just need a bit of composure. They've just got to settle it here, St. Patrick's College. I have no idea what happened there. Everybody knocked it on 55 times. But anyway, they've got a chance here to get across the line here of St. Pat's. They're down by 6 nil. Just need to take their time. Goes without it on the half volley. Picks it up. Seems like Kiss there. He's one metre out from the try line. Might be their way through the wall there. They're going to run it himself. Will Noah oh, James. He's got his arms free, Noah James. And it's a penalty. Inside the 10. Inside the 10. So they've had three sets now. What would you do, JD? Would you take the points? Get on the board? Or would you take the tap? Stamp your authority. Take the tap. Here we go. But if I'm going to take the tap... Luke Oxford, I would have a forward running onto it harder than that. Just saying. Yeah. 100%. Just draw defenders. Because you've got a guy who's running 20 metres along. Here he goes. He's going to score go. this try. If he can, but the defence is there. But great great you... cover defence there by Boxwell and Chandler. Excellent work there to stop the play. Numbers. Just catch and pass. Uh. And it hits the uh, referee in the back. Hey, ben Cabernet cops one. Does a falcon. Does a touchy. Oh, uh, you have a look here at the replay. St. Pat's had all the momentum here. They went to the left side of the field. It was an early ball from Blackwell. Blackwell had a, had a three-on-one, and he decides to throw a cutout pass. <laughs> all he needed to do was just go through the hands, and they would have scored in the corner. Oh, But I, go, I want to go back to the fact, how can you give it to a number eight for tap restart this flat-footed? I don't understand why you wouldn't have a crash ball. You draw three or four defenders quick play the ball then you have a, well as it turned out they had numbers out wide here they just weren't able to execute but still you've exactly really got right. to have intent in that first carry and you need to be winning the collisions in this first Correct. half and it's you know and uh, now St. Patrick's College have let a golden opportunity uh, go by the wayside and something that marks it, especially in rugby union forwards hate the other forwards they want to stand their authority and get on top Exactly. And if you do that in rugby league as well, you've got yourself a nice little war, and you've got yourself a bit of a challenge from both sides. So that's out in the full. Oh, that's unlucky for Allwood. He's been playing. He's he's playing really good footy. I really like how you know. I just like the composure in Allwood's game. Is that an early kick? I yeah, it was an early kick. Last, yeah. And now they're going to they're going to be more resourceful in their plays. St. Patrick's College. They need to play smart here. Just win the middle. Get going. Go forward. And then hopefully try and generate quick ball 
and then attack the edges. Hands out in front. Sweeping play, but it's going to be James Bolden. Gets a reasonably quick play of the ball. Stepping off left and the right there is Hux ta Table. Hux Table, yeah, good carry there. Now they're starting to get a bit of momentum. Just got to put the passes out in front. Yeah, well, I was going to say, they just need to play your basic game of rugby league, catch and pass. Oh, it's just, it's all going to that inside shoulder, and you're seeing a lot of the backs trying to come sweep around, and they're all jumping up in the air as they receive it. Oh, almost through, that's a good tackle around the ankles. Oh, great tackle there by number 16. Casey, last tackle. Grub it in goal area. It's going to be tidy up there, but that's a long, long way. Good end of the set of six. Excellent end to the set of six. It's all yeah. just about building pressure now. It starts now. Mano, solid tackle there I'll put, I'll on put, Wilson. I'll put a, a chalky milk on that St. Pat's enthusiasm will cost him a penalty. Let's see, Chandler. Good carry here. Chandler's really dictating the play early on in his first 15 minutes. He's just getting out every time. There's no pressure from the market defence. Now it's the last. Now it's the last. Good defensive set, St. Yeah. Pat's. I was right. Excellent. Wrong, I mean. There we go. I'll have an oak chalky milk, thanks. Yeah, uh, you, mate, 600 so mils, JD. 600 mils. Love obviously, my chalky milk. Obviously not, uh, not lactose, light. Lactose intolerant. No, <laughs> mate. Just, I'm all full cream, mate. Yeah, good, uh, good discipline from St. Pat's. Now let's see if they can execute this next set of six the same as before. Keep that field position. They've got a bit of a back line here. Throws a bit of a dummy almost halfway through there. The other thing I'm liking about Chandler, although he's making a couple of dust from dummy half, he hasn't overplayed his hand either. No. For he, St. Edmunds, he's a smart footballer. He's a smart footballer and he's got plenty of time with the ball. That's what I really like and he's making really good decisions. There's a, there's a player down for St. Edmunds here in the back play. They've got... One less in the line. They've got to take advantage of this now, St. Pat's. Yeah, good run there from Sasha Adams, it was. I think he might actually, his boot might have clipped the tackler because it was around the ankles. Crossfield kick here like you wouldn't believe. Oh, oh leads oh. in the hands of the red, and as he lost it, it over the line, like he has. knock on. Great defence there in the corner from St. Edmunds College. Let's have a look at the replay on that one. I think it was Ben Nash there. He was out number three to one. You have a look here. Noah James puts up the crossfield kick. The three to one. And Sasha, uh, sorry, it's not Sasha James. It's the other center in. Uh, sorry, let me get that now. Cooper Reed. He had to work very hard to stop that play. Excellent work by St. Edmonds. They've been really disciplined on their goal line. Yeah, it was Jack Bolin playing on the left wing. Of course... Sorry, Cooper oh, Wellman. Yeah, they're going to get a penalty here if they're, not, if they're not careful, St. Patrick's. Cooper Wellman, along Jack Bowen's going to fullback. That's him who's going to chase that footy, but it's oh. gone out in the full as well. That's unlucky there from the number six in. Well, they got, I don't know what they had for breakfast, these kickers from yeah. St. Edmunds. Both yeah. of them have found touch on the full. Uh, look, 100%, like, I'm very happy. If I'm the Edmunds coach, I'm happy with that tactic. Kicking early in the tackle count turning St. Patrick's around, but unfortunately just the execution from Puller there just didn't didn't go to hand. 12 out from the try lines. St. Pat's down 6-0. Trying to skip his way through is Matthew Condon. Numbers to the right, they got 4 or 5. Too many people there, but the halfback oh. on the side to score the try himself there, and over he goes Noah James. That's excellent work from Noah James there. They're on the board now, 6-4 with a kick to come. You know, 2-1 force there is JD with two kicks going into touch. It's just allowed St. Patrick's to get back in the game. What I love about this particular carry here from Noah James is the intent to carry the footy. You know, he's not, he's not jogging when he threw that dummy, stepped off his left. And, and, he, and he really went hard for the trial line. You talk about Fords going against Fords and trying to win that battle. The sevens and sevens came together, and the one from St. Pat's wins this one with a four-pointer. He'll probably add to that with his conversion attempt for his own try, Noah James. It's unfortunate for St. Edmunds. They've been playing some really good footy. Well, St. Pat's haven't, haven't panicked in the last five minutes. Actually played structured footy. They almost scored in the corner there. Yes. I think they learned a lot from that flooding pass. that hit the touch in the back of the head. So just keep it close to hand and 
Yep. See how we go. Here's the replay yeah, again. Here a, for look at CQ. it here. He throws the dummy. And that was a missed tackle by Allwood. And then he's just seen the gap and he's really ran with a lot of intent and he scored that try. All right, six all. Six minutes remaining, first half. Now, if I'm, if I'm St. Edmunds College here, you know, I'll be trying to pin these guys down and hopefully, you know, try and force an error inside their back 50. He's been good for him, Chandler. Let's see what these guys can do. Well, neither side wants to give an inch before they go to go to drinks. Cooper Reed leading it. Tom Davies to play the ball there. Gang tackle. Good work by Cooper Reed. He stopped the try earlier on before. No mistakes here. Short flat pass. Chandler involved in the tackle. I like just liking how Chandler's just slowing up the footy here, JD. Yeah, true. He's doing a good job of controlling the, the ruck speed in the middle. They have some numbers. They can get it through the hands. Say so Pats down the right hand side. Flick pass. Running out of turf. He has to come back into the field of play here. This good work, Armstrong. From Colin Cohen Taylor. Sorry, Sorry. to be right. You're right, mate. It's, uh, Henry Armstrong there. Yep. Yeah. It's fourth tackle. Oh, it's last tackle now. What do you do? Do you run with it? Well, some uh, other than that. Is that played up? But anyway, it's going to be picked up. I don't know. What a lost count here. I reckon these tackle counts only like five. Just seem to get through sets of six pretty quick. Oh, that was a terrible last tackle play there from St. Patrick's College. They had all the momentum, and now they've just released all that pressure. And now St. Edmunds have it. They're going to stop the play here. What's going to happen here? Yeah, what's have the word of the boys to settle down? Noah James comes in. We just had young Liam Wilson come off injured. He's hurt himself in that last tackle. There we go. Well, actually, that's the first time I think in living memory that I've seen the referee tell the captain to go back and tell his boys to settle down, and the captain went back and did. Yeah, <laughs> well, they just all run back and go, whatever. He's told them to calm down. Let's see. Well, they find one on the bin, you're in trouble. Exactly there, JD. You got to be careful here. It's, it's a short, yeah, correct. Yeah, it's short, short, short games. You know, you can't have one guy in the bin. Well, especially this late in the carnival. Exactly, a lot of, a lot of injuries. And this is we're going to see now who's going to stand up for both sides. We're deep into the carnival. This is now their fifth game. Well, it goes without oh, it does Brown. He loses that uh, Brown. Ah, oh, you'd be frustrated if you're the coach for St Edmunds College. Maynard with a good carry now. Takes a 10. First tackle. It was. That's the 40. The line's very condensed here with Eddie's. If, if they can spread the ball wide to this right edge, they could find some space down this right right hand side of the field. Slow play of the ball. And the other. Well, coming Great. off the line there was Allwood. Great tackle from Allwood. Very important tackle there. Church has been good on this right flank. He's, he's provided some good go forward for the St. Patrick's College. Last tackle now. Oh, James puts it in the air. Swirling. Oh, he just pulls that in oh, on the far great side. Ben take. Nash. Nash. Wonderful take. Two minutes remaining. First half. Six all. Two converted tries. Reed here. That's a good carry from the young centre. Tries to get some extra metres. Conrad Brown driven back. Big gangland tackle. All th three. One of them, Jai Leash. Chandler to Whiteton. Just content to get it out from their own end here. So, Edmonds. Have a crack down this left hand side. Here he goes again. Chandler up the middle of the ruck again. Thinks about an offload, but presence of mind to hang on to the footy. Now it's the last tackle here. St. Edmonds. I'm going to go down this back down the short back, side. Back, put the Kickers are all on. Kick out. Chases are all on side. Great oh. take by Wallman. That was courageous stuff. It was the blue and white army were just motoring onto him and he hangs onto it. So now we're with uh, just on a minute to go. St. Pats will finish their set. I'll tell you what, JD, if I'm the Ed St. Edmunds coach, I'll be telling young Conrad Brown to sniff around the, the, the midfield area because 
uh, twice now we've seen Chandler scoot out of dummy half, get his arms free, but he's had no one backing him up. Yeah, Jamie Wilson probably another one, the 13, if he's still there. Scoot in the middle. Full sunshine here now. Run corn. Last tackle. James puts it in, end over end. It's going to sit up nicely, so see if they get some enterprising stuff, St. Edmunds, to try and finish off this half. Cooper or Sutherland. Just shut up shop. Coming out of the line there, just missed the tackle there, but if he if he connected, would have been a good hit. One hand to pick up from oh, Chandler. Chandler has been... Minutes. He's been wonderful. Short ball to Polkingham. I'm not sure whether it was forward or not, but he's got over halfway. Very 15 lucky. seconds to go. Very lucky not to get a penalty there, uh, St. Patrick's, for the flop. Last play of the half. Chandler. Putting it through the hands. Not sure whether there's a forward in the line. It's a good idea, but Xavier Whiten will take the tackle, and that will be half time. We have a locked up ball game, six points each. St. Pat's from Shawncliffe over St. Edmunds College from Ipswich. It was all one-way traffic in this first 10 minutes, and it was all St. Edmunds College. As you see here, Chandler just bounces out, hits Wilson on, the, on an unders line, and he scores next to the post. Next play of the ball, we same, next play, St. Pat's. Noah James takes the ball to the line, throws a dummy, and scores and scores himself. Plenty of intent in that carry. No worst enemy there. St. Edmunds come up plate final. What happens after here, mate? Who uh, you win, you go through to the semi? I think so. Or well, the final. The finals tomorrow? Finals tomorrow. It's going to be a good second half, JD. Six all. Half here we go. End over end. This time it's actually picked up. The kick to start the game off was. Um, Fortunately, oh, great tackle. Went dead in goal. Good gang tackle there. Led the end there by Davey. Thomas Davey's back. He's out in the park. Fresh legs. If there's such a thing left on day four or day three. Oh, a high oh. shot. That's a lazy arm. No intent. And, yeah, hit him across the neck. Fourth tackle, JD. Yeah, yeah, that hurts. Just has to make touch. It does. Let's see if they start to use this sun. There wasn't any of that this morning. It's just in one of those tricky spots now that St. Edmunds get to there in the set of six, just try and chip one into that corner. So Wilson with the first carry. This is important now for St. Edmunds College. Their attack's going to come off uh, Chandler here. His ability to create in the middle will be key. Wide receiver, the back row, tries to get through the shoulders there as Isaac McCarthy. There's a penalty inside the 10. It's against the number six, Matthew Condon. I'd love to see a stat, JD, of how many times you get a penalty out of your own half. And then you repeat it again. Yeah. Well, and then they then they put it into touch. Crazy. So Breeze did push that back in, but you just got to make sure they go into touch. And while I favour trying to get as every meter as you can, but you got to make certain it's a you get the ball back. So St. Edmonds now have to defend instead of being on the attack. Spinning and turning the tackle there is Noah James, try scorer. 12 short of halfway. St. Edmunds still all offside. Referee's going to let that go. Halfway line not crossed yet. St. Pat's, this is the last tackle. James puts the left boot on that. It's going to be allowed to bounce. And it's an end over end bounce, but they got to the kick. That was a good set there by uh, St. Pat's coming out of their own half. Probably one thing I, uh, you know, what they need to do here for St. Patrick's College is the forwards are going to give options to both halves. Twice they, they took it themselves. Nice. Going back the other way, tries to get through there. This poking horn, but doesn't. Almost gets over halfway, just can't quite 
kept there. Now this will go forward here from Jamie Wilson. Good carry there. Yeah, that was lacking the first three carries. Wilson, Chandler. Wing is not home here. He forgot to tell his outside bent he was going to kick that. Very lucky Ooh, there. Oh, was lucky. Look at this oh, guy. Hi. Here Bowling. he goes. Uh, it's opened up. Jackie Bowling. Did a little goosey there and almost weaved his way through the debate. St. Edmund's defence. Chandler, the tackler. And it's another oh. one. It's a, it's, well, thank you. So, anyway. That's unfortunate for St. Edmund's. That was a really good set coming out of their own half. Chandler out of dummy half. He puts a nice kick. Led the kick chase line. They pinned him in, down here, and now St. Pat's get a pressure release here. Attacking on halfway. Oh, it's play the ball. Yeah, he touched it just in the touch. Oh, okay, yep. righto. There we go. Oh, Davies. He's got some energy. He's a, yeah. like a ball of granite, isn't he? <laughs> Just hard everywhere. Goes without it. Oh. James has to tidy it up. Goes back into his own half. Straightens the play. Tries to weave his way through there and set, attracts three defenders. One of those is Isaac McCarthy. Lisa's really got to get his pass up. Oh, juggle, but able to get it away. Driving forward across the line. There he goes. Sam Kiss, I think it is. Got to, got to go right. No, it wasn't right. Sam Kiss. It's actually Maddox. St. Pat's. On the charge, eight out from the try line. Options left and right. James wants the footy. Gets it. I think he's going aerial. Throws a dummy. Now he puts a cross field kick. Oh. And it'll be too much. Oh. Flat, low kick. Goes in. Dead in goal. He was shaping the kick. It didn't get it at first and the second time. I mean, he did. Yeah, he was isolated there, uh, Noah James. He, threw, he had a lot of kick chase pressure there through the dummy. And he tried to get the kick away, but uh, unfortunately it went dead. And now it's St. Edmunds here. They stopped, they stopped the, the raid from St. Patrick's. And now they get an opportunity to move the ball out of their own half. 20 minutes remaining. Locked up at 6 all. Tries to Noah James and Liam Wilson. Both converted. Go to the blind side. You're just hearing the comments from the coaching staff from St. Pat's. Watch the nine. They've yeah. obviously highlighted him as, a, as their danger man. Well, I think they'll be listening to our commentary, mate. <laughs> called in what, what we can see from way up here. Brian Pollock, the coach of St. Pat's. Halfway line, goes back. Puts it on the toe. And Armstrong on the back there, takes it nicely. It's a good kick there from, from the young fella in um, Puller. Well, the chase is good as well. It's, yeah, he it's a straight line. That's what I really liked about St. Edmund's play. Every time they've exited, whoever's kicked it has led the kick chase, and they've had a really good line downfield. Wellum. Slow play the ball. Well, I'm not feeling a million bucks. Might be coming to the sideline. That's a good tackle there from, from the front rower and Chandler there in, in Whiten. Well, that was the last, but anyway, it's kicked low and flat. Could carry back one of those tacklers involved there. Lease been leading the way. He's been good for him since he's yeah. come on the field. Brock Taylor, the, the winger for St. Edmunds College. He's been very safe on that left-hand side. 12 short of halfway, St. Edmunds. No way through there. Tries to get to his feet, he's polking him on. Finally does so. Chandler oh. uses the markers that are offside. Chandler, Chandler, oh, should he give it? Thinks about it now, he does. Oh, probably too late, but let's see what happens. They may score in the end. Chandler's a dummy half here. He's been go causing left. havoc up the middle. Oh. oh, no, Chandler will be going, what have I done that for? What's the point? I tell you what, the Chandler's a very smart footy player here. He's got eyes up footy. You see Lee's in the play the ball. He's not getting back. And he uses him as an instruction to get through the line. He busts through the line. He should have given it early to Polkinghorn. Polkinghorn wrapped up. Now this is where it broke down here. The seven should have stayed out. Should have let Chandler get to the play the ball. They went wide and they lose that. And then they drop the ball there with Puller. Oh, Benny Puller. Oh, that's unfortunate yeah. play. But still asking the questions of St. Pat's Barker defence. Something they need to straighten up. And here we go, a forward pass. 
And now, now St. Edmunds here have a genuine opportunity to attack. And they've got the, they have, uh, they've gone for a midfield scrum, which opens up both sides of attack. Jack Chandler doesn't feel so bad now. Neither does Ben Puller. Now, I'll be, I'll be a bit nervous if I'm uh, St. Patrick's College with Chandler at the back because he's bounced out a couple of times out of dummy half and he's drawn in a lot of players. It'll be interesting to see whether he passes it from the base or bounces out. Like I said, he <coughs> knows when not to overplay. His hand goes back the other way, this puller. Good tackle, Davies. Chandler, slowish play of the ball. Probably would like a little bit faster. Whiteman. Good tackle there by Church and Laws. They've been good. They're, they've been St. Pat's best. Yeah. He's lost the ball there, but I think it might have been a little bit of interference from the mark of the fence. But nonetheless, referee's right there, and that'll be a changeover, or so I should say a scrum feed to St. Pat's. And you see there, you just see how much it means to St. Patrick's College with that, that fo- unforced error. Really good tackle from those two. Oh, yeah, probably probably could have been a penalty to the St. Edmunds with interference in that play the ball. Yeah, it's still at the end of the day, if you're not ready to play, just hang on to it and stand up and wait. It's easy said than done from up here. So St. Pat's again trying to work it out from their own end. Six all, half-time score. Ten minutes gone, second half. 25-minute half and finals day. Hawk still doesn't stop for this fixer. The only one is tomorrow's final. It's good passage of play from St. Pat's. Three quick scoots from the backs. Wellham, slow to his feet. He's groggy as well. He's had a tough day at the office. They really need to speed up the play the balls here, St. Pat's. James trying to ignite something here. Looking for six to go. Everybody's waving the arm in the air except for the referee. So play on. Now it's the last. Got a kick to this left hand side. James, they're going to run it. They're going to run it. And he goes without. That'll be a changeover on the 30 or thereabouts. Look, you know, it's good good attacking footy. They saw something down the short side. They made half a break. So there's definitely opportunities there. If we, if we can see a replay there, Church took it to the line. And I think uh, young Henry Armstrong just overran the football there. Stick with the live plays. We see St. Edmunds running out from their own 30-metre line. Bit of a bunch here, St. Edmunds, as they try and weave their way out. Starting to get three in the tackle here. 14 minutes remaining. Chandler again. Oh, Jesus. Asking questions, isn't he? <coughs> Puller gets slammed to the grass on the on the 40, looking for a soccer penalty. Overruns it. There's that ball carry, so Chandler has to find another option. He does so with Isaac McCarthy. And Isaac McCarthy there. gets a smack from Condon and company. Chandler now with Harrison Reed. It's just simple play there, JD. Last tackle on halfway. Orwood sitting in between the winger and the fullback. I'll go and touch a changeover about 15 minutes out from the line. So that's a good set of six there. Yeah, good kick from Saint uh, from Orwood. Just turns him around, slows the play. The Play the ball down, doesn't go into touch, so therefore, or does go into touch, therefore, a chance to reset the defensive line rather than broken play. And like I said, 13 metres out from the try line. And, and that's what you need there, JD. What I'm liking about the, the attack from St. Edmunds is that every time their forwards carted up, they have a support player there for that tip on. Oh, ducks under a shot, but he still gets a penalty. That's a hard carry from young Henry Armstrong. It was a good little carry. He's fired out of the cannon. Hang on, Ooh, he's going to... You think that could be... He yeah. could be in trouble there, JD? Yeah, Pullo's going to have a word saying... But he, the warning... Yeah, the warning before actually went to uh, Noah James and told him to go back and talk to his troops. This is the same thing as applied. So I'd imagine either side of those in... Um, does something similar will find somebody in the bin for 10 minutes because he's warned both captains. Oh, I'm surprised they're running it here. I'd be kicking for touch. No, this guy's he's out of control. He's also enough to carry. They just need to exit out of, the, out of their half well. 
couple hard carries, get him on the front foot. And then look to play to an edge. Yeah, Williams Tomic. Loving out run now, the hooker. Here we go, Lisey. Tars Lisey. It's been a wonderful contest between these two number nines. Long back line here for St. Pat's. Kiss. Gets to the 30. Numbers down this short side if they can go. Oh. Boland goes the other way, gets the offload now, and there's fours involved in the back line, which is not ideal. As Boland gets up, that's James. Last tackle. Oh, with James's kick, it's going to be knocked on. Oh. That'll be six more. Six again. Still 28 meters, 38 metres out from the trial line, or 28, I should say. This is a really important set now for St. Edmunds. They really got to, uh, they've got to shut shut down St. Patrick's in this next set of six. Oh, he throws it. Oh, How about excellent. that? Forwards. Try time in the corner, and finally they get across. And it's a good try to Cooper Wellham. He's been strong all day, Cooper Wellham. Gets himself a meat pie. He looks like he's injured there. Oh, he's been injured all game. I don't know how he's still out there, to be honest. Oh, that was an excellent uh, play there from St. Patrick's College. You see here, at least gives the ball to Wilson Tomic. Then he plays out the back to Condon. Condon takes, drifts across the, the defensive line, gives an offload to Cohen Taylor, and then he gives a nice little ball to Cooper Wellman in the corner. 10-6, ten, ten, kick to come. We've got, we got a nice little game to finish on our hands here, JD. Well, we talk about errors again. Look, that crossfield kick gets knocked on. And it all started from that head-eye tackle. Yeah, out, true. 30 metres out, got him downfield. It's just amazing. Two penalties back to, like, two unforced errors, mm. then all of a sudden you're on your goal line. Just looking at... Uh, looking at Cooper Wellham off-screen. Issue with his right ankle. Conversion is wide away. Score remains... 10 points to 6. If we have a look at this replay here. This is excellent work. They did a lead tail play. Wilson Tomic gives that ball to Condon. He just drifts across the defensive line, gets his head and shoulders through, throws that offload, and a quick shift to the winger. They're in the corner. I think you left a very valid, interesting point out of that. It was a forward in the back line, mate. <laughs> hey, something always happens when you chuck a big man oh. where he shouldn't be. And that was, uh, what, that's that's what led to it. It's probably one of the good things about this carnival is just some of the front, the forwards going around and their ball, ball playing ability yeah. has been excellent. It has been outstanding. We just saw the previous game with Southern Cross and Lorries. A couple of forwards, just outstanding with what they can do with the footy. Oh, young Henry Armstrong there. He's working really hard, coming off the wing. It's so over halfway goes St. Pat's. This is a good set from St. Pat's. They need to capitalise. Under nine minutes to go. They're really targeting the middle. Hook is having a field day here. Taj Leash steps off the left still. Oh, Razzle from Taj Leash. Probably need to hang on the footy, but he's going to find a flat footed in front row. And Sasha Adams. Sasha Adams. And quick play the ball. Noah James left foot. Dinky little kick over the top, and that's going to be oh, grabbed. Great oh, tack. Fingernails. Great take there. By the fullback in, uh, was, it, was it Jared Brown? Jared Brown. Conrad Brown, sorry. Yeah. That was wonderful. A lot of pressure there. That was a great set of six from St. Patrick's. And he just took that at speed. Well done. Lovely gangland tackle there. Oh. Well, be careful. Referee's here. not falling for it. He's trying to milk the play. Oh, solid defense from St. Pat's in the middle of the park here. They don't want St. Men's to have any field position at the end of this set of six. Chandler gets cut down. You're starting to see the intensity now pick up from St. Pat's. 10-6. They don't want to give up this lead. This is an important carry here from the big fella. Well, they're in strife now. It's with Liam Wilson. Liam Wilson! Liam Wilson's got some legs. Still going as Liam Wilson. Oh, grabbed it a ball and all tackle. Laid out from the troll. Got to go left. Got to let, go left. Now it's with Reed. Chandler on the park here. All they got to do is catch and pass. Chandler throws... Score in the corner, surely he's taking a turn and finally they get over and score the try. Oh, what a great try there from St. Edmunds College. That was that was an excellent piece of uh, attacking footy. And it all started 30 metres out down this right-hand side. And what a carry it was from the young man. 
as we as we can see here, they went down the left the right hand side of the field. Boland makes an unbelievable tackle, ten meters out. They got a quick play of the ball. They shifted it wide, all good. Gives it the to Chandler, and he just shifts it wide, and they score in the like corner. The that is a sponsors. great team try there, JD. If the he's not by Brock Taylor in the corner, it sport. just took forever, it seemed, for them to score that try, but they did so out wide. Locks it up at 10 all with kick to come. Academy photography. Six and a half minutes to Brisbane go. Broncos, Dolphins NRL, the Carbine Club. And that was Catholic an unbelievable school, try there, Terrence and it all started Queensland. from that... They Thank needed someone to carry and lead, it, lead them forward, and that was Boxhill. He did a great job just to attract the number six, force that offload, and then you, you just saw it. Wilson hard and straight. Six minutes left. Oh, conversion. Oh. Ten all. As six we, to go. As we see here, just to play the ball here, they did a good job. Reed shifting the ball. Ball to Allwood. Allwood shifts it on to Chandler. And then, and made it, this is an excellent bit of play because it was the whole spine involved there, and they were the key players in in that in that bit of transition. They all got the ball and they all moved it to space. Well done. Who started it off? Bro? That was Boxel. Boxel started it off. Is with that a forward? Forward with an offload. There you go, buddy. See, there you I'm go. You. A little pinch of luck and a big pinch of forward, and you got yourself a try. Chandler's trapped out with his leg, and it was. He's been good from Wilson. I've mixed them up a couple of times with uh, Conrad Brown. Yeah, they got the same one as. Well, hand in the ruck here, so they want to be careful, St. Pat's here, because. Okay, kick for touch. There's plenty of time here. They don't need to rush anything, both teams. They're just going to go through their processes and keep attacking. That's the big thing. Well. He isn't involved yet, but here he comes now. This is the man that could actually... He's gone a little bit quiet lately, but of course he hasn't overplayed his hand. Almost like a bit of rope-a-dope. He's just sort of waiting to pounce. That's Liam Wilson. Now Chandler. Dart from dummy half. Here's Allwood again. He's been elusive as the seven and the nine and the one. Wilson. Liam Wilson again. He's been good, Wilson. He has been Good ball carrier. We've got to get up out of the play. Chandler the again beats the mark of defence. Throws a dummy. No, oh, he's everywhere. He's everywhere. He's chicken man. Gets up and plays it. They go to the blind side. The try score. Tries to go over for a second one there in Lachlan Davis. It's a changeover. Penalty though. Whoa. Oh, that's huge. You've got to be kidding. I thought that was the end of the set of six. He's got a call from his touchy. This is big now. And what do you do? Do you go for goal or do you no. keep attacking? I haven't seen any impressive goal kickers in this game at the moment. So we see Boxel. Cruz Boxel. Boxel. Take their time. Three and a half minutes to go with this set of six. He's got to keep St. Pat's down the other end of the field. That's a good tackle there from Wilson, Tomic and Laws. It's all locked up. We go to Golden Point and after that it's the first try scorer. Boxel again. Inside ball. Watch this man Chandler from dummy half. He's dangerous. No, gives it off to Allwood. Puller. Still going. Lurking is Wilson. I don't know which edge he's playing on Wilson. He's on the left and the right. He's on the right hand side now, Liam Wilson. Goes to him. Trying to get across oh, the dry line. Try. And he goes wherever he wants, does he, Liam Wilson? And Liam Wilson scores a try that I think will get them into the finals. And, Matt, and that's a great uh, great try there from St. Embeds College. Sustained pressure from, from the guys in blue and white. Let's have a look here. Once again, it's Chandler there. He's got so much time on with the ball. Looks left, plays right, hits Wilson. And Wilson just crashes over that try line. He's been fantastic for them today. He Chandler scored that. It's ridiculous. That's so straight. Yeah, you're right, mate. He has been strong. But like I said, I know whether he's on the left or right. And he's wearing 12, which says he's on the right. He's over on the left earlier. And, 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 the, and the thing here for me, 
uh, JD is the market defence for St. Patrick's College. There have been too many times where they've got quick play of the ball, guys lying in the tackle, and, and a player like Chandler, that's just money for jam there. Yeah. He's going to take that every day of the week. Like I said, he hasn't overplayed his hand. He could have thrown the dummy and tried to go across the trial line himself. Instead, he found Wilson. Because it's only, I think, the third or fourth tackle, so he still had some more options if that didn't work. He's, he's done a great job of just bringing players into the game. Mm. He hasn't, and as you said, he hasn't overplayed his hand. Forward. It's the upright. So still, we haven't seen one that's come off the upright and gone through. As we have a look at the replay here, just play the ball, look left, plays right, hits him short, and a good carry there. The marker who came across there from St. Pat's, yeah, sure he went around the legs there, but he had the opportunity to actually stand and try and get underneath the ball. Exactly. And push him back. He, and if he did that, they'd probably... Yeah, he's gone sideways rather than straight ahead, and that it will go 10 metres. Oh, offside. Right in front of the kicker. Oh. No. Tent was right. Here we go, have a look at your replay, and there, that guy. Was on the same side, but still you've got to stay behind. And what will they do? Take two? And see, so. when, you, when you come from a rugby union background where the referee stands in the middle, what they forget is where the referee stands off the kickoffs. Mm. They, they see the whole defensive line. So inside the final minute, 14 10. They just want to complete the set of six without an error. Ooh, almost coughs it up there. It's Boxall. Chandler. Puller. Long cutout ball here's now for Dune and it's a forward pass. Won't matter. It'll take a while for the scrum to pack. It's a scrum. I'll have, will they have one play? That's the train, not the hooter. So I'll try and pack the scrum. They'll have one play if they get it in there, and I don't think they will. No, they won't. Full time. And St. Edmunds College from Ipswich have defeated St. Pat's from Shawncliffe 14 points to 10 in an exciting game of rugby league. Luke, we're going to let you go because we've got to keep rolling with the no day. Thank you. Procedures. Thanks for your time this afternoon, mate. Appreciate we'll talk to you soon. All right. All Cheers, mate. We'll be back soon. Confraternity 2023. Our next game kicks off here at 2.47. Back soon. Matches.